Hey Mod Squad and welcome back to another episode of That Modish Life where we talk about all things fashion. And today we're going to be looking at some Valentine's Day looks from FashionNova.com. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright Mod Squad and welcome back. I have on our very first outfit here. And this is the Lanza Bandage Dress in Dark Mob, and I got it in a 1X. And I am absolutely loving this dress, you guys. This is so cute. It is super duper cute, you guys. And of course, with bandage dress, any type of bandage dress that you have is going to have stretch. So most definitely, it is stretchy, but it is a tight fit. So that's the one thing with bandage dress. It is a body kind, so it will fit you tight to hug those curves and accentuate those curves for the ladies so most definitely this is a lower cut one i do love the straps on it so if you can see the straps it has one two three straps so the two sit on the shoulder the one comes off the shoulder it sits on the arm i thought that was cute this is a low cut dress so most definitely um a u plunge bra would work or even a strapless bra would be better so i have on a strapless bra right now and then I am going to go ahead and show you guys the back of the dress. It is a zip up dress, so um, it does zip up and clamp in the back, which I thought was cute, but I do love the exposed zipper look on the back of the dress as well. I am absolutely loving this look for Valentine's Day. I think I might wear this one when we go out to dinner. This might be the one already. I already like this one. I don't want to take it off, but I am going to go ahead and jump into the next outfit for the sake of the video. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have on our next dress, and this is the Take Me on a Dinner Date dress in red, and I got this in a 1X. It is an off-the-shoulders dress. Um, it does have this mesh material on the sleeves and as well as the um, overlay and the top. Um, now, I don't know how I feel about this overlay um, because most definitely I put it on and I had struggled a little bit with adjusting it and it could be because my bust size is big and it's just getting in the way but most definitely I'm having a little trouble with it staying down so I would think throughout the night maybe that it may roll up or rise um most definitely would have to wear it out to see um other than just trying it on for you guys but most definitely it is a cute dress don't get me wrong it is cute I just think that this mesh part right here, maybe if we tacked it down or something, that would help with it to prevent it from rolling up or moving up um, over my chest. So most definitely, that's the only negative I have for right now. Um, it is a cute dress. I um, have on a strapless bra that helps with the um, off the shoulders part. So most definitely I'm going to spin around for you guys so you can see the back. Um, now there is no zipper or closure on this dress, it's just, you just pull it up and on. It is spandex and polyester, uh, so there is a lot of stretch to it, but this dress does have a lining on, under it too as well. Um, I didn't understand why they had the lining. Um, when you look at the material by itself, it's not very see-through because it is polyester. Um, but the, there is a lining in there, so it most definitely does give it a little bit of a tighter fit to the dress, which is a good thing because most definitely I love when it is a little bit tighter because it does um, give you those nice curves of the body. So most definitely this dress is cute. Um, there's only a couple things I would change. Probably maybe take a, a little sewing kit, get some red thread. Probably, you know, just give a couple stitches and tack it down. Um, but other than that, I mean, it is cute. I mean, I kind of getting some like Jessica Rabbit vibes from this. It's really, you know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's cute, it's, it's cute, most definitely. But I would just make those adjustments on the dress and go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop into the next dress. All right, Mod Squad, I am in our next dress and this is the all-in sweater dress in the color pink. And I got this in a 1X. Uh, most definitely am loving this sweater dress. It is a very chillaxed look. Um, so a lot of the times, 
people don't go on nice dinner dates. Um, they may do quirky things like go bowling or they may just go to the movies or something just really personal to them that may not require dressing up. Uh, but most definitely, um, you're still in a dress. You're still Valentine's Day looking. Uh, this is so cute, you guys. I am loving it. And it is comfortable. It is a knitted sweater, so sometimes you may be able to see through it. Um, I do have on black undergarments right now, so I'm not quite sure. I don't think you can see anything. But a uh, suggestion would maybe be um, grab a tank, grab some shorts, put it under there. Right now, I have on my short Spanx. So most definitely that helps a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around now. It is long sleeve. So I'm turning around um, for the back. And so it's a hoodie, isn't that cute? So I have a little hood on it, which I thought was cute. Um, no closures or anything like that. You just throw it on over your head. Uh, but most definitely, I thought this was a cute option for Valentine's Day. Um, throw some cute red and pink sneakers on. Red sneakers, pink sneakers, whatever you want to do. Um, if you wanted to put on heels, you could put on heels. But most definitely, I feel like this is a more chillaxed look. So I would probably just throw on some sneakers with this and be ready for my date. Alright guys, I am absolutely loving this look. It is very chill, it's very relaxed, it's chillaxed. <laughs> I'm loving it. Most definitely would rock some tennis shoes with this, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop into the next look. All right, Mod Squad, before I hop into the next outfit, I did want to mention the wind sequence dress. Um, you might recognize this from my New Year's video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and go on over to my New Year's video to see what this looks like on. But most definitely, this is a great outfit for Valentine's Day. I thought it was cute because of the burgundy and gold. Those colors are most definitely Valentine's Day colors. And most definitely, you can um, wear this again for Valentine's Day. So if you did grab this for New Year's, this would be a great option to wear out to dinner. Whatever you're gonna be doing for Valentine's Day, most definitely this would be a cute option. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop into the next one, but if you do wanna see what this looks like, go ahead and click on that uh, New Year's video. I'll be right back. All right, Matt Squad, we're back with the next dress, and this is the No Drama Ruffle Dress in dark red, and I am feeling this dress, you guys. I am loving these sleeves. I am loving the whole look of the dress. Um, so this dress is a little bit longer than um, a lot of the dress I've tried on, so it does come mid-calf, so it's not a mini dress. Um, it's more like a mini dress. So midi, midi, not mini, <laughs> midi dress. So I am loving this. This is a really cute look, you guys. It has the mock um, neck on it along with the ruffle sleeves Ooh. <laughs> it is so cute oh my gosh I love this uh, so most definitely would go great with a good pair of heels give you that extra bump there but yeah look at, oh, it's so cute you guys I love these sleeves so um, now these are um, lined with a thicker material so it does help give that ruffle look. So a lot of times I've seen um, online where they'll have the nice like ruffly skirt or they'll have a ruffle sleeve and then you get it and come to find out it's not like what the picture looks like. It's <laughs> it's only because they were moving or something was going on um, to where they were able to make it give that big billowy type of look. But no, this these actually have the material to hold it uh, to make that nice big ruffle on the sleeves, which I think it is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you guys the back of the dress because on the back of the dress, and I hope you guys can see, there is a keyhole in the back, which I thought was cute. So it has a zipper enclosure, it has a button enclosure at the top of the keyhole. Um, most definitely is a cute feature on the dress there. Uh, if you wear your hair up, you'll be able to see that even better. Uh, but most definitely, I love this dress. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like, I really wasn't gonna order this. I'm not gonna even lie. So, I saw it online. Of course, the model looks so bomb in it. But I was just like, oh, will that look cute on me? I don't know. Um, it's a little bit long. It's, I don't know. It, like. I was doubting it. I almost actually deleted it out of my car and didn't order it. But I'm glad I didn't because this is a really cute look. Now, I'm loving this. Like, I really doubted this dress. But I'm so glad that I grabbed it. That's, like, one of my things I have to get over. It's, like, when I see it on the hanger, I see it. And I imagine myself in it. 
I can't imagine myself in it. I have to actually try it on you guys. So most definitely, if you see a dress that you think that you know you may not like, try it on just to see how it looks. Because sometimes it does look different um, on your body or off the hanger or you know off somebody else's body. So like most definitely try and see <laughs> what it looks like versus you know just assuming that it's not gonna look good. Because I've learned my lesson today. This dress is cute. I absolutely love it. It's so gorgeous. So most definitely, um, I'll be wearing this to something. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hop into the next dress. Give me just a sec. All right, Mod Squad, we are back with the next dress. And this is the full grown knot dress in the color blush. And OMG, this is so cute. This is gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am loving this look. This is so cute. So I actually have a similar similar dress to this in the color black and I love the look. I love the cut of it, but this color, this blush color, oh my gosh, it is so complimentary. I love it. Uh, so most definitely, let me talk more about the dress. So um, there is a big knot, as you can see in the front, hence the name uh, knot dress. It has this knot going on on the dress. Um, in the front, which kind of grabs the fabric and cinches it in. Um, it is a low cut uh, v-neck dress. Uh, the sleeves are kimono sleeves and it has a split in the front of the dress. This is, oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous, you guys. I am loving this. I am getting these 1920 vibes. Like I should have the wavy hair with this and like maybe like even a flower or something. I don't know, it's just so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin around and show you guys the back of the dress. In the back of the dress, there's no closures, there's no zippers, so you do have to pull it on over your head or you can step into it, um, which is nice. Uh, nothing really going on with the back of the dress, so I will swim back around to get to the front again. <laughs> but most definitely, this is cute, you guys. I am loving this look. This is great for a dinner, maybe if you go to a play, something. I don't know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. Go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you are doing for Valentine's Day. Are you going out to dinner? Are you going out to a play? Are you going to go to the movies? What are you going to do? Let me know. And maybe you can wear one of these looks to your event and tell me which one you are going to wear. So, but most definitely, I love this one. This one's cute too. Now I'm, oh. So right now, I'm torn between two dresses. I love the beta dress and I love this dress that I have on. So I am most definitely going to be trying to figure out which one I'm going to wear. Maybe he'll have to take me on two dates. <laughs> so let me go ahead. I'm going to hop into the next dress. All right, Mod Squad, we are in our next outfit, and this is the Stacy overall mini dress set in the color neon pink slash black. And this is another outfit that I probably would not normally buy. I saw it, and I was thinking, again, you know, if you're not going on like a extremely romantic dinner date where you need to dress up and you were just maybe going to the movies or going out, you know, maybe bowling, whatever you were doing that's more of a casual date, I think this would be super cute for it and most definitely this is a cute outfit. I am loving this. Now it is a set so these are two separate pieces. So the mini skirt part um, with the overall straps is separate from the pink shirt which it is a uh, crop top shirt. Now it's not really crop on me. I'm in, <laughs> in the sense that I am a little short so maybe somebody taller maybe a little bit or with a longer to torso, maybe a little bit crop, more cropped on it. Um, most definitely, you could probably adjust the shirt if you wanted to um, to make it crop, so that way you can see a little bit of the tummy area. But this is cute, you guys. I am loving this. Um, now it is a spandex material, so it does stretch all over, and so does the shirt. It stretches, it stretches as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn around and show you guys the back of the outfit. Um, so it does have that overall look on it. Um, again, the shirt does come down below the skirt for me because I am a little bit shorter. But uh, most definitely there's no closures, there's no zippers. So you just throw it on and you're good to go. But most definitely I am loving this look. Um, I don't know what kind of shoes I'd wear with it. Uh, comment down below if you have any ideas on what shoes you might wear. Maybe some combat boots would be cute. Um, but like I said, I would wear this for a more casual date. This is so cute, you guys. I love this. That is super cute. So most definitely, I'm going to hop into our last look 
for this Valentine's Day video. So give me just one moment, I'll be right back. All right, Mod Squad, we are in our last look and this is the Mojito mini dress in the color magenta and I got this in a 1X. And this is so cute, you guys, I love this. Um, it is a bandage dress, so it does fit a little tight, um, but again, bandage stretch, bandage, now this is a bandage dress, so it does fit a little tight, but again, bandage dresses usually have that tight feeling, but it, they stretch as well. Uh, so most definitely, it's nice in the sense that it gives you that nice little curve going on there. Um, most definitely on this one, it has these really cool features on it. Um, it has these little metal pieces throughout the dress. Um, it gives a nice little accent to the dress. And then there are these like little straps where they've cut through the dress. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is so cute. I am loving those features on this dress. Now, um, this dress does have a zipper closure, which I'll show you in the back in just a second. Um, I am going to turn around for you guys. So on the back, um, it does not have the same features on the back. It's just kind of like a more of a solid, but that strap in the middle does come around. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It comes around um, the dress, but then it has that zipper closure, the exposed zipper look, which I think is so cute. And then it has a hook closure at the top. Uh, most definitely, um, this dress is a little bit tight. So it, um, if you don't like the tighter fit, then I would suggest maybe going a size up, but you may lose the curvier look if you do go a size up. So, uh, most definitely there is some pros and cons with that. So, um, just fit, you know, like whatever you're comfortable in. If you want the, you know, the curvier look, then go for this. If you do want the comfort factor, then you might want to go up a size. Um, but I got the one X. I'm liking the one X. Like I said, it's just a little bit tight, but the fact that it does stretch, it helps a lot. So I love this look. It is so cute. I am loving this color that they picked out for this dress, the magenta, and most definitely would wear this uh, for a date. But um, that is our last dress. So we're going to wrap this thing up. All right, Mod Squad, so that was our last and final look for our Fashion Nova Valentine's Day haul. I am super excited. I am loving these dresses. Most definitely will have to have the hubby take me out to dinner at least one, two, maybe three times. I guess as many times as it takes for me to wear all the dresses that I love. So most definitely am loving these dresses. I am torn right now. So go ahead, comment down below. Let me know which dress you like the most, but let me know what you're wearing for Valentine's Day. I would love to know. But then also, let me know what videos you'd like to see. I need ideas, let me know. <laughs> so most definitely do that. But then go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't what are you doing go ahead and subscribe so that way you can get those notifications of when i have new videos coming out but i am going to see you guys in the next one peace no, I just